How do you explain this, that nine years ago you're coaching in high school and here you are with this trophy? I can only give uh, the praise to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for giving me this opportunity. And I'm going to tell you something. I got the best players in the world. And uh, it's a resilient group. On his head and one. KD catching it on McGee. Can't get it the full rebound, Durant. Incredible opportunity. Durant for three. It's good. Kevin Durant from downtown. And Golden State takes the lead. There's been a pronounced edge to the way you played this season. What is triggering that edge? It could be my last game anytime I step on that floor, so I got to give them all. What goes into a streak to get you to the level you've been at over these last 12 games? What goes into that, Kevin? Man, God. That's all I can say. Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, thank you. You're not nothing to do with it. No, nah, nothing. It's all him. Thank you. Good protection. Intercepted by Ray Lewis, and Lewis is on his way. He's going to go for a touchdown. I want to always correct you when, when people say that. You see, because when people say hey, I took part in a demonstration, took in part in a demonstration means I would have took one knee. I took two knees. One knees is for the team, two knees is for Jesus. When I played the game, when I got up every morning, I fell on my knees to pray that the Lord will bring me out safely in a game that's so harsh. Right today. No, 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 Ray. But I'm not, it's, I'm, it's not a matter of being right. But you, need, you mentioned the Bible. Let me yeah. tell you what the Bible says. Tell me what, what it says. What you do to the least of them, uh -huh. you do unto yeah. me. And it also says, love thy neighbor as thyself. Absolutely. Yeah, and and so, we're trying to do that. So if we're trying to do that, then we have to create a culture of what prayer really looks like. We have to create, we pray when we, we pray before we come out the locker room. So why don't we pray in front of the entire stadium? Y'all keep few confusing this. Today I go before the Lord and I rebuke all evil that you will not put words in my mouth. I feel like there's been times where I felt like it was God's will for me to have a successful season, but I also felt like it was God's will as well to help me to learn from certain losses. But I just know that God is a huge uh, a factor in my life and whether he wants to promote me or humble me, uh, that has, that is in his hands. You know, I don't think God cares about a certain game or race or performance, but he does care, care about the condition of our heart. and so. I hope that like whether if we have success or if we have failures that we always rely on him for our strength and during the whole process. For God to show me that I can have peace in a storm is much more is much more powerful to me than the gold medal that's going to sit in my sock. <laughs> and I, I can really see the Bible verse that says all things work together for his good and glory. Kershaw with a base set to right. Taylor off and moving with a crack of the bat will score easily. Clayton Kershaw with an RBI single. I was really like, well, what is this, you know, what is Jesus? What does this really mean to me? You know, what is this Jesus guy all about? And, um, you know, I didn't want to just keep calling myself that without having some type of knowledge. So it wasn't until I started asking myself those questions that, you know, I really started to make, uh, you know, my faith my own and, you know, really kind of gave, uh, kind of gave control over to him. All, all the things that I do, all this baseball stuff, uh, you know, everything in Africa, all the charities, is all that stuff is all great, but the ultimate glory is not for us. You know, we're not here to try and, uh, try and gain accolades for ourselves and gain fame and all this stuff. I think, you know, the reason that um, we play baseball and I get to do interviews like this is to understand that, you know, God gave us all these opportunities uh, to glorify Him. And I think that's, uh, that's, uh, that's kind of what uh, it's all about. You know, what if one of your teammates is a non-believer? One of your assistant coaches is a Jewish guy. Does it ever concern you that that brand of, of spirituality for you might be exclusionary to others? You know, I can't necessarily worry about you know, how this guy is going to judge me, you know, or, you know, am I really disrespecting this guy by saying, you know, Jesus Christ. You know, one thing the Bible says is, you, know, you, def you deny me in front of your friends, I'll deny you in front of my father. You know, so I don't never want to be like, you know, to where, you know, and I never want to come off as disrespectful. You know, that's right. never my thing. 
but I also have to glorify, you know, what I believe in because lose a friend or two, but don't lose my faith, you know, because one day this world is going to end. And I want, you know, my Lord and Savior to know no matter what, you know, I may lose a friend or two, but I can't lose you because if I lose you, where am I going? You know, and I'm headed for destruction without you. You know, so like I said, it's never to a point to disrespect, but I also have to do what I believe in. Finds Von Lay, blocked by Green. Oh, what a block from Draymond Green. There's a drive continue here. Jets show blitz, they're going to bring it. Tebow trying to run around the corner. Tebow has got to go down the more. He might score. Touchdown. But what's awesome is when we give what we have to God, He can perform miracles. That in our lives, He is always more than enough. He is not just enough to help you get through it. He's always more than enough for no matter what you're going through, no matter what you're dealing with, no matter what giants are in front of you, no matter what voices of negativity you have to hear, Jesus is always more than enough to help you get through it. Looking for his first assist. And what a great play! First assist of the half is a highlight reel to Dwight. My mission uh, was to preach God's word you know, in the NBA, use the NBA as a platform for God. Best record in the NBA, lost to Dwight. All oh, too easy. Did it hook? Oh, what a shot. Look at it. Snap hooking on the green, that incredible. So I've been stronger. I've been getting stronger in my faith and reading the Bible more and more. And, and then a whirlwind when I actually won on Sunday. So just all this stuff and it all mm. came. And, and it was just funny how it's God's plan. God's plan is always better than our plan. You know, first and foremost, I have to thank my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for blessing me with the talents to play this game. I'm his humble servant right now. And... Um, I can't say it enough how important you know my faith is to to how how I play the game and who I am. I think in terms of how I've grown up, it's about my relationship you know with, with God and and what that means to me and how that evolves uh, or has evolved over the course of my life uh, from the time I was in third grade uh, when I made that decision for myself to follow Jesus to now where I have the ability to be on a stage and a platform every single day to let that shine through me with how I, you know, conduct myself and and uh, where I shine, you know, the, the, the glory um, every chance that I get. And so, in a sense, it's just a part of me just being who I am.